Hello everyone, my name is Sana. I'm a year one student in visual merchandising. Hello guys, my name is Javan and I'm year two from business services. We are both from the CCA Student Icons in IT College Central and we are here today to share with you more about our school. Firstly, welcome to IT College Central. If you are watching this, you must be curious to know more about our school and the courses it offers. Today, we'll be featuring the final year projects from two groups belonging to the School of Electronics and Infocom Technology. Course NITEC in Electronics, Computer Networking and Communications, the final year projects are done by the students in the second year. So this provides opportunities for students to put their knowledge and skills learned into good use, creating electronic related products to help the community and businesses. Come, let's go meet them! Hi Darren, can you share more about your final year project with us? Yes, uh, hi Devon. My team and I spent about six months developing this project and the prototype cost under $200. Wow, only $200? That's amazing. Eh? It looks like, like worth $1,000 or even more. Can you tell us what it's actually made up of? First one is the ultra, ultraviolet light, which kills the germs, bacteria. The second one is the Arduino board, which we coded and to move the vehicle. The third one is an ultrasonic sensor which prevents the vehicle from hitting any obstacles in its way. Wow! Can you tell us more about the challenges that you and your team have faced during this project? Apparently, the vehicle takes up too much power as we use too many batteries. Maybe we can consider using power bank or high voltage rechargeable batteries. The second thing, we also need to improve on coding so that the vehicle can move as smooth as possible. I've done coding before and it really wasn't an easy task. So do you have any advice to any of the viewers out there? Yes. Electronics can sometimes be confusing, but very fun. Uh, yes. So don't give up. It's okay to fail because you learn through the process. That's some good advice, man. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, guys. Share with us on your final year project called C Power. Yes, so the C in C Power stands for convenience. So you can just turn on, uh, on an electrical appliance with a simple flick. So our team developed this uh, this project by using a base station, a transmitter that is connected to any electrical appliances. Here, would you like to try? Of course. So it's you shake it, right? Yes. Oh, you can turn, okay, shake it left and right. Then you can press the button. Press the button too. Wow, this is so very light. Yes, it is. So Felix, I heard that you were able, you and your team were able to test this product out in with members of the public? Yes, Sana. So we sent a prototype to Sun Earth Dimension Center and we actually received very favorable feedback and ideas on how to improve our product. Alright, Felix, so during the development of your product, which took you about six months, right? Yes. So were there any challenges that you and your team faced? Uh yes, it was very challenging to convert the two signals to one of two. The signals are the ESP32 and the micro bit, as um, both are control signals. Both of them are very different as the ESP32 uses Wi-Fi the, and the micro bit uses the radio frequency. Also, the interface board in the base station was custom made by my team. Wow, so does that mean that I won't be able to find this anywhere? Yes, you can't find it anywhere. Um, hence, it was a very difficult task, uh, but a very rewarding one. Alright, Felix, do you have any advice for those watching if they are considering a course in SEIT? Yes, Hannah. So, do join this course based on your interests, um, and not because you want to follow your friends. If you like working with electronic related products, you will definitely enjoy this course, as there is a lot of hands-on work involved. Alright, so that's the end of our segment, and... Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Wow, that was pretty cool, right? I love how the projects are not just prototypes but can actually be used by people to benefit them and increase efficiency. I hope that this feature has given you a better insight into what the students at SEIT do. Do remember to consider your interests and strengths when choosing a course of your choice. More importantly, do find out the entry criteria for the course so that you can work towards it.
all information about entry criteria, cutoff points, cost information, and even career prospects can be found online at www.ite.edu.sg. For more happenings of the school, do also follow us on Instagram at ITE College Central. Oh, if you are also curious about what our CCA, Student Icon, does, do check us out on Instagram at ITECC Student Icons. All the best. See you in ITE College Central next time. Bye! Bye.